Okay, hey everyone. Um, today we're going to learn how to take a picture of our work and then put it into a Google Doc. So, uh, the first thing that you need is some good light, okay? Uh, you can do this in a lot of different ways. Uh, if you have like a, a nice lamp or something like that, it's a really good way to do it. And um, you can, of course, uh, you know, use like really just bright light. If you have a white light, that's better than uh, um, like, these are yellow lights. Maybe not perfect, but not bad either. So what, what, what do I have? Okay, I have my, um, have my picture, right? This is the Do you want me to the look comic. at that? Yeah. So this is the comic that we're going to be digitalizing today, and I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? Okay, so you'll want to open up your camera You're on your computer screen, and right now it's facing me. Hopefully you can switch it so that it works more like a camera, and you yeah. see that's how it is, okay? So then what you need to do, I would recommend, you know, taking it like this. But also, a better thing to do, maybe, is to come in and get a picture of each frame. Okay, so I'm going to get a picture of that frame. Oops. Make sure that it's on camera mode. And take a photograph. 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 Once you have all your once you have all your photos taken care of, then you can import them into the computer. And I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so once you have all of your photos taken, the next step is to set up your Google Drawing page. So you're gonna start by opening a new Google Drawing document, and then you have to make the page the right size. Okay, so how do we do this? We go to File, then we're gonna scroll down to Page Setup. There it is. Click that and then go down to custom and change your size to 8.5 by 11. Apply that. This is the size of a normal sheet of paper. So that'll make it so um, all of your pictures can be arranged just like they were on your comic sheet. From there, um, you're, since you've already taken the photos on your computer, you'll be able to upload them. And how you do that is you are going to go and um, you have to go up to insert and how did that happen? And you insert your photo. Okay, and once you have it in there, you'll have to crop it. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we crop a photo? What is crop? Cropping is when you take a photo that exists and you don't want to keep all of it. You want to just keep a part of it. And so what you're going to do is you're going to shrink the photo down so that it's a little bit smaller than it was um, when you took it. And how you do that, um, well, actually, there's a lot of things you can do to your photo. We'll look at a couple of them. Okay, so size and rotation, we're not going to mess around with that today. Position, we don't have to really worry about that too much. Recolor is kind of fun. If you want to change your photo, if you think maybe it's too yellow or something like that, you can select a grayscale image if you want it to be black and white. Or, you know, you could do a negative one. Well, it's kind of interesting sepia. There's so many different options, but I'm gonna go with grayscale because I, I kind of like that. Um, if you really want to mess around with your image to make it like maybe a little bit, you know, you could do transparency, uh, contrast. If you bump that up, it'll make your whites whiter and your blacks blacker. And you can really fine tune an image with this, but it is kind of tricky. Okay, so you can mess around with that if you want. Um, I'm just going to reset it. Same thing with brightness. If you want to make your image really dark, or if the, the photograph didn't come out so good and you know it's just too 
too light or too dark you can make it lighter contrast if you mess around with these you can really fine tune the image but it does take a little bit of time and it will be grainy you know sometimes so I, I think I'm just gonna leave mine as it is they have other options you know you could add a reflection to your image which is kind of cool a drop shadow it'll look like it's floating above the page that might actually be kind of cool with the, the comic book okay so you're allowed to use these um, play around with it if you find something you like go for it but if you double click on your image then you can start to crop it okay and you see what I'm doing here I'm dragging the box in okay so if you double click on your image it, it gives you the second box not just the blue squared box but also the one with this little black line and if you drag the black line in this is kind of highlighting uh, which part of your picture you want to keep so I'm just centering it on the part that I like which is just my first frame and I'm going to hit enter and then what I'm left with is just that first frame and then this this allows us to um, really move our, our pictures around maybe you you didn't put things in quite the right spot the first time around you can change it out if you're really, oh excuse me if you're really happy with everything that you did the first time, you can leave it just the way that it is. But if you want to change it, you know, you can use computer stuff to, to do that. You can put a border around your image. There's a lot you can do. Okay, but we're going to insert the rest of the images. So I'm going up to Image, Insert Image, and I'm going to Upload from Computer. And unfortunately, I guess this thing doesn't really show me where my stuff is, but you'll have to find your images probably in a spot called camera roll on your computer and um, from there you will once again double click on the image and you can drag the box so that it's just focusing around your image and boom there it is you can adjust the color on it and then you can adjust all kinds of things once again I'm going to make mine grayscale because I think that that's just kind of works with this one and I'm going to shrink it down so it's about the right size and there it is okay so um, I'm going to do that again and when you do it on your computer you'll get the whole um, explorer that's not showing up on this for whatever reason but if you want to see how to crop it you can also if you right click on your your image you'll get that menu that you just saw a second ago and through that you can select crop too. If double clicking isn't working for you, you can do that. Okay, so I'll speed it up here. Um, you can watch and then we'll finish it up. Once you have all of your um, images on, there, all your frames put in, you can do the fine tuning, you can position things the way that you like them, and um, you can put more frames on them, which is kind of cool. But then once you're done with that, um, you have to submit it. So I'm going to show you how to do that, okay?
Okay, so your last step for today is to submit your work. So you'll see here I'm on the Google Classroom art page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Classwork and then I'm going to click on View Assignment for Digital Page and then click Add or Create. And because you created a Google Doc, it's going to be in your Google Drive. Um, you can select uh, the the thing you should title your work with uh, the name of your comic and then page one and then click turn in and that'll happen um, you see it changes to unsubmit so if you submit the wrong one you can always go back and unsubmit it but I would like you to submit one page of this and um, it has to be in by midnight on Sunday so that's what you got once you do it you'll see it says turn in Thanks, everybody. Hope you have a good week.